Hi. And we're in Okinawa and we're heading to the fish market for lunch. It's a blowfish. What kind of crabs are caged up? I guess they're too dangerous. <laughs> oh, so you gonna eat. Mm. So you gonna eat piggy and the rice Small little pig. Uh, you chew, chew the crab. Choose one? Oh, okay. This one? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Alright, I'll go with this one. Yeah, it's got that. And there's your last name. Thank you, thank you. Chose our crab downstairs and then they talked to the restaurant guy who brings it up here to the second floor and they asked us how we wanted it cooked and talked to asked them what's the best way and they recommended that we do half and half so we're doing half spicy and half miso. Oh here it is, here it is. So the miso soup. It's sweet. The meat is so silky smooth. Very soft, really good, delicious, delicious crab. First time having uh, this kind of crab. Uh, I know it's called Kona crab in Hawaii. Nothing like Dungeness crab or rock crab, anything like that. So much smoother, silkier. Ooh, look how nice this lime is. It's so green. It's good. Got a good texture. This is really good. It's a, like a lime mandarin. This is the adductor muscle right here. This is probably the best part. That's pretty good. A lot more brinier than I thought it was going to be. That's pretty good though. This one was uh, 600 yen, which is about five bucks. It's good, but it's definitely not as good as scallops. I would definitely still prefer scallops over this one. Part right there, I'm not sure what part of the lamb that is, but that one tastes like uni. Very creamy like uni. With a wasabi? Or? Yeah, little wasabi and soy sauce. Mm. Yeah, it is. Mm. Not as creamy, but... Yeah. The crab was about 4500 The cooking fee was uh, 850 So, I probably spent like 55 a little less. Yeah, less. Yeah, it was good. Um, it wasn't spicy at all. They said it was going to be spicy, but it was more sweet. Yeah, because they used the sour plum, or the pickled plum. Yeah, ume. I wasn't that into the soup, but the sour plum part was really good. I like that one, even if it wasn't spicy. Crab meat was just so soft. I've never had crab meat like that. All right, so we're gonna go look for more stuff to eat. I think we're gonna go for some shrimp. あ、これ。あ、沖縄。沖縄。沖縄。沖縄。沖縄。沖縄。沖縄。沖縄。沖縄。沖縄。沖縄。沖縄。沖縄。沖縄。沖縄。沖縄。沖縄。沖縄。
Salt. Very salt. Mm. You wanna try your shrimp? She was saying that you can put this in the sauce. Oh. And it's good like that too. Creamy. Really creamy. I love raw shrimp. I think this is from a con. This one I'm just gonna do the juice. Mm. This is really good. This is like abalone. I don't know exactly what it is, but that's really good. Probably the conch one. That's good. Everything's so fresh. So fresh. I'm pretty sure this is a parrot fish. By the skin. Blanch the skin. That's good. That's a parrot fish. That is really good. Oh. It's like kind of sweet. It's got a good texture. I like yeah, it. Yeah, really good texture. I don't know if I've really had abalone, so I can't really compare. I ate at the French restaurant. Oh, right. Yeah, that was that good. Was your one. That was, yeah, that's what I forgot. <laughs> Pop his little hair out. Ooh. Creamy. Very creamy. Mm. That was good. Which one should I go for next? Tuna? Mm. Why is everything so soft? <laughs> it's good. It's good. Mm. It's dessert time. We're gonna go have an Okinawa donut. I'm not full yet because crab's a lot of work. So I feel like I burned off all the calories already. One uh, brown sugar and one mango? Sure. All right. <laughs> Tasty. Let's try mango. This is good. Which one was that you tried? Um, the black shirt. Mango. Crunchy on the outside. Mm -hmm. Soft on the inside. This is called sata andagi. Uh, my grandma used to make it all the time because my grandma on my mom's side is Okinawan. And uh, she used to make this all the time when I was a kid. A little different than the way my grandma used to make it. Looks the same. That's different. I think my grandma made it a little more, a little more dense. Mm. Yeah, it's good though. <laughs> this is a mango. I don't like the black sugar, so I really like Okinawa black sugar. All right, let's go find more things to eat. <laughs> more? No. No, we're done. Earlier we did the fish market, the touristy one. This time we're doing the behind the scenes. Oh, it's coming out. The lobster is coming out. Oh, it's oh. coming out. <laughs> you get it, you get it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we have some cats out here and they're just hanging out waiting for some scraps. They seem really polite because none of them try to come inside. <laughs> ハッピー。ちょっと、ちょうど、ちょうどさんが、ね、あの、え、冬場にかけてどんどんどんどん上々が近づいてきて、うん。え、沖縄近海で、え、アルバコートナ、アルバコートナ。ああ、今から。ち
You notice on the fish right here, they actually make a cut. That way that you can see what kind of quality the fish is. Um, and that allows the people at the auctions when they're purchasing it to see what kind of grade they're going to get. That's <laughs> play, guys. 39 seconds to play tuna. Wow. 39 seconds to play tuna. <laughs> There's a little competition. They do a competition. Oh. So he just played off that chunk. What are you doing? This is the guy. They call these groupers the red money in Okinawa. So people buy for different reasons. Some people are buying for the supermarket, so they get a little bit lower grade stuff. And but other people, like like him, he's buying for like restaurants and you know more restaurant quality kind of stuff. So he's buying the more top quality, high quality stuff. Um, so depending on what they're after, they have different price ranges. Wow! Yeah. How many years have you been doing it? Thirty years. Thirty years. He has the cleanest like board out of everybody else, and he just works the cleanest, and he keeps his tuna the most high quality. So I'm getting a little special treatment. Chef here, he's gonna let me actually fillet one of these giant sea snails, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and try it, see what happens. Okay, so shut up. Yeah, you want some? Okay, I have to say I have to do it fast. Oh, you be it. So you have to peel it. Peel this meat off the shell. That's really hard. Oh. Probably right up about here. It's attached. So you have to with your finger, pop, rip that apart. Then it comes out. Hi, so stay. So this is like the foot right here. And it's very hard, like really, really hard. So we're gonna try try these. Let's see, I wanna try the soft part first. And I wanna mention one thing. Um, in the US, you watch all these like how to eat sushi videos, right? And there's always things saying, don't put your wasabi into the soy sauce. Don't worry, Japanese people do that too. So if you put your wasabi into the soy sauce, it's totally fine, look at this. And he just gave it to me from the restaurant. So it's kind of funny that they say that. Itadakimasu. Wow. Wow. Wow, that is so good. And that's really soft too. So soft, so delicious. That is amazing, so fresh. Wow. That is almost like an, more like an abalone kind of texture, but it's already tender. You don't need to tenderize that at all. But let's try the harder one, um, the foot. This is the foot of the giant sea snail. So this, these ones, this one may be a little tougher, and I didn't cut them so thin, so <laughs> let's try it. Mm -hmm. Very different. Initially, it's very tough, but then you, get, you bite through it, and it's more crunchy. Crunchy, 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 and also as fresh as it gets. Still amazing, delicious. The flavor is the same, but a different texture component for sure. This one's much softer, the first one I tried, and the foot is much a little tougher and crunchy. So that's the foot? Yeah. Mmm, much more crunchy. Much more really crunchy. good. Yeah. I like this one. I like both of them. So we have here three types tuna donburi. So we have the sashimi, kind of the akami here. 
and then we have some to negi toro, so that's the fatty portion, and then mixed with some uh, green onion. And over here, they also have some slices of the another akami as well. And this is umibudo, umibudo. Uh, This is called umibudo, translates to sea grapes. And sea grapes is a type of seaweed that grows here around Okinawa. Um, and they're very interesting seaweed. Kind of pops in your mouth um, and delicious as well. Okay, let's try it. Oh yeah, this here. This is squid ink soup. Squid ink soup. This is very interesting. I've never had that before. It smells really good too. Oh, interesting. Look at that. <laughs> interesting. Oh, should I try this first? Yeah. Mm, wow. Wow. Whoa. So much umami. Like you can just taste, like it's so flavorful. Oh, that's really good. You just try that. Let's try some of this donburi, tuna donburi. We also got it with uh, sushi rice as well. That tuna is so good. That's so good. And then the umibudon adds a nice saltiness to it. So you don't really even need like soy sauce. That's delicious. I want to try the negi toro. Mm, wow. That is so good. Yeah, you gotta have some of this. If I let you. <laughs> <laughs> and this is from the guy, right? The mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm. Mm. There is a lot of flavor. I like it. Squiddy pasta, I don't feel like has much flavor. Mm -hmm. But this is really good. That's really good. It's tasty. Uh, <laughs> go for it. Mm. Tender. That is good. Tasty, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, I'll try this one. Negi toro. Negi toro. Mm. Also good. Really good. It's so soft. <laughs> I don't think I'm giving it back to you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, if you eat that easily. It's so good. And guess how much? This how is much? 1,000 yen. It's like 10 bucks. Less than Less $10. Than 10 bucks. It's $9. Wow. $9 for that whole bowl. You can't get that in SF. $9. You can't get that. And it's probably like $100 in SF. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can't get that quality and with that price. This is the Japanese style, okay? So you put the wasabi into the soy sauce, mix it in, and then you pour it onto the oh, donburi. Okay. Yeah. So don't listen to those people that say don't mix wasabi with soy sauce. Because <laughs> Japanese people do it. 